I want to talk about an awesome new Obsidian plugin called Relay that lets you collaborate with others all within an Obsidian Markdown file. In previous videos, I've shown you how you can query data from all of your different data sources all within Obsidian using GlareDB and the Execute Code plugin. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can also do this in collaboration with other people within Obsidian using Relay. So let's just dive right in and see what's possible. So here we have my Obsidian Vault right over here. And within my vault, I've set up a relay using the relay plugin, which is basically just a connection which exposes some directories that I can then share with a colleague. And you can actually see my collaborator's cursor right over here. So I can type stuff and they can type stuff really just like a Google Doc. And you can see next to this directory, we have our, uh, this, this little symbol means that this is part of our relay. relay we have relay demo connected. Um, I also have this other relay over here, which is different. Um, it's a different one set up. This is called my relay. Uh, and this is set up to share with a different group of people. And now imagine I want to write some SQL um, and maybe I want to do this in collaboration with somebody. So I'm going to use the execute code plugin. I'll use this run Python block and I'll import GlareDB and set up my GlareDB connection. And then I'm going to start to write my SQL statement and save the select statement to a data frame. So I'll do uh, df equals com.sql, and then let me start to write my select statement. Right, select star from, the trouble is I don't remember where the data are located that I wanna select from. And so I know that I have a parquet file in GitHub somewhere, but I don't remember where the URL is. And so I'm just gonna drop an ellipsis here right now. Um, I'm also gonna finish writing the statement. So I'm gonna output whatever this is to pandas, and then I'm gonna print my data frame. And now, my, my buddy can go and just drop the URL if they know it directly into this code block. So let's do that. So that's really nice. Now I can run this. And we see that we have our Parquet file hosted on GitHub that our collaborator was able to just drop right in. And I can run it and select from it, no problem. Now imagine I want to take this remote file on GitHub and I want to copy it to a local directory within my Obsidian vault. So I can't really remember how to do that, though. That's the only problem. So I'll create another run Python code block. And this time, I'm just going to leave a comment for my colleague and say, hey, how do I write this? local parquet. And now my buddy can just go and write the statement to do this. So that's, that's really nice. They've written out this statement. I see now it's just a copy to statement. So you can take your SQL select statement from above and just pass it into this copy to. And now I can just run this. And I see I have to make some changes. So it's, it's great that we're able to go back and forth here. And I see that it, this is missing a uh, closing uh, single quote. When I run this again, I have my, my data.parquet file. We've copied our data from the remote URL, uh, remote GitHub URL, and pasted it in locally. Installing the Relay plugin is just like installing most other plugins that are within the Obsidian plugin catalog. So if you open up your preferences and you go to Community Plugins and Browse, and then search for Relay, you'll see there are actually two plugins called Relay. Um, this one looks really interesting also. I think it's a way of like broadcasting a file with a large group of people but you're gonna to want to install the one by system three here. And so we click this, you're gonna install it and enable it. And then when you click into your options, you'll see that there's, uh, you'll have to authenticate using Google. So under this account key, um, I've already authenticated so I can log out, but you'll just click the button and log in. And then you'll also see options to join an existing relay or create a new relay. And so if we click in, if we create a new relay over here, um, let's call this uh, another relay. And now 
you can select which folders you want to share over here with this add button. And then you can also uh, share your key with anybody who you want to add to this. Um, you'll see that the free tier is limited to just three users. And then for uh, $10 a month, you can upgrade and share this with up to 10 people. And that's it. Getting started with Relay is really as easy as that. There are a couple of gotchas here. So one of them is that I've saved this Parquet file here locally, but currently Relay is only able to sync Markdown files. And so my colleague, they'll be able to see this collaborate on joining data. This is my Obsidian Markdown file. They're not going to be able to see this mydata.parquet. So they would need to run this command themselves if they wanted to get that data locally. There are also some, um, some complications around the way that things sync. So I can work with my colleague, like we could just both type in here simultaneously, like with Google Doc, but we can also work asynchronously. And when you work asynchronously, I believe the way this works is that it only syncs once you actually open the file. And so you might see some blank files all within your relay directory, but the files will be empty until you actually open it within Obsidian. That's it. I think that's all I've got for today. Um, this is really, really cool. The couple of like bugs and tricks, like the, the non-markdown files not syncing, I think the folks at System 3 are aware of those and working on them. Um, I'm gonna drop a link to uh, the System 3 website and uh, some of their documentation and videos. Uh, if you haven't seen our previous videos on how to select and use SQL within Obsidian, I recommend checking them out because they'll give you more of a sense of how to get started with this workflow altogether. Please let us know if you have any other ideas, if there, you have feedback, if you're using this in an interesting way, we'd love to hear from you. Thanks so much.